it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius for March. So it's being recorded in February. March has not happened yet. You may be watching this in March, which is perfect because it's for March. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, again, this reading may or may not even be for you because I can't read for everybody now. I just saw 999. 999 is closure, okay? It's about, uh, you know, 9 comes right before 10. It's getting ready to close a chapter. It's uh, coming to the end. Uh, it's a sign to move on when you see 999. So it looks to me like it's it's... You know, something is really close to the end and it is time for you to complete something. So it's, it is, and it could be just completing a cycle, a cycle of wherever you've been. Okay. So that's, it's coming to an end. So it's, it's almost over is what I'm trying to say. So if you've been lonely, it's almost over. If you've been in a shitty relationship, it's almost over. You know, whatever it is, it's almost over. That's what you got for nines. Um, what do we have? for Sagittarius for the month of March. Some sort of communication going back and forth. I see the Eight of Wands, which is triumphant news arriving. Good news, perhaps. doesn't have to be good news, but it, I think it's good news. Um, communication, texting, or something like that. The Eight of Wands is also the Rods of Love, so you could be being hit with that. Sacrifice. This is the hangman. Um, you have to struggle through something. You have to, you're, it's like you need to surrender. I think you're learning some kind of lesson right now, or you have just learned some kind of lesson. This lesson has to do with letting go. It has to do with letting go of something that you have been hanging on to. This is our hanged man card. It's like you've sacrificed yourself long enough, right? You have. I think you're doing a lot of thinking, right? You're thinking about what has happened. You're thinking about your life, how you have changed, how the, that last lesson has changed you. I think that you're, you're, you're starting to think of things differently. You're getting a new perspective. You may be thinking, why, why have I been so punished? Why, why am I being punished? You know, this is like some kind of punishment. And you may be even punishing yourself. Maybe that's where you've been. Maybe you have been punishing yourself. You've been sacrificing yourself for another person. I feel like you're going through a period of growth and you have learned something significant. Now all you have to do is focus on your future and let go of that past. Sagittarius. What do we got for Sagittarius? Some sort of alignment is coming. You notice the rainbow. A rainbow is a sign of peace and it's the, it's the difficulty is over. When you see a rainbow, it's already rained, right? It's already rained. The cloudy weather has already come, all right? So now it's the sun coming out. Things are starting to warm up. Things are going to get better. The difficulty is over. And you notice the praying hands in this card. It's like a prayer is about to be answered because what is at the end of a rainbow? A pot of gold. So I feel like you've been in some serious, I mean, you know, look, look, there's a lot of waves. She's in some sort of waves, right? You've been in some turbulent situation, but I feel like that storm is over or it's about to be because remember I saw those nines. Nines are not complete a 10, but it's damn close. Okay. So you, it's it's just about over. So what do we got? The struggle. Now, hey man, is all about struggle, but you have to struggle hard to learn a lesson. You typically don't learn from easy lessons. You learn from the hard ones. So yeah, I think that you guys have learned something. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. So have faith and trust that everything happens for a reason. Now, you know what's really funny here? I got to show it to you. Notice the numbers up at the top. 12, 12, 12, 12. 
So that's significant. So you can look up the meaning of 1212. What is the meaning of 1212 in numerology? Ones are manifestation, instant manifestation. It's one, and, and if you think from one to two, okay, one to two. So you are, you may, if you are single and you are independent, you may be coming together with a partner from one to two. Be, you know what I'm saying? From one to two, okay? So you may be, you know, you may be getting your wish, you know, because if you put, think about what do you do when you put your hands together and pray, you're basically making a wish. And ones are about manifestation. But when you're praying to a higher power, to God or whatever, you've got to have faith. So it's like... I feel as though you are having a wish being granted, but it's for those of you that have faith and believe, okay? Now, the hey man goes through a period of enlightenment through suffering, okay? The suffering enlightens this person. So I think that, yeah, you guys have gone through some suffering, which has enlightened you, and you've become gone through some sort of awakening that has put you in touch or in alignment with the universe or a higher power and it's like they've heard your prayers so anyway i think one may be becoming two now twos are about partnerships they're also about choices and they're about changes so i think that you're you're going about to go through a major change in a partnership okay and i think that you have manifested this change okay so what do we got? What do we have for Sagittarius? Now, one is a oneness, a oneness with the universe, okay, or with God or whoever it is. So that means you have that divine connection and they hear your thoughts. Knight of Coins reversed. Now that's a delay. So you may have been, uh, you know, there may have been a delay. Things have been stalled. Things have been stagnant. Take a look at that page of coins. We're going to take that one upright. Now, this is a new opportunity, a new endeavor, a new enterprise, a new door opening, a new exciting opportunity. You may be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, earth sign, earth sign. It looks as though you're dealing with an earth sign. doesn't have to be. looks like you have a new opportunity that is opening up for you, and this is a very fertile opportunity. I think it's an opportunity for growth. Again, you have manifested something. The Page of Pentacles is about manifestation. You are being given a golden opportunity to make something work, something solid, something stable, something can grow, but it's not going to be easy because you're going to have to do things that you have never done before. So you are going to be given an opportunity that you have never done before. This is something you've never done before with perhaps somebody that is very uh, down to earth, this person may be a little bit younger than you, probably not much. This person is grounded. This person is, um, oh, what's the word for it? This is an earth sign. So this person is loyal. This person is a hard worker, whoever you're dealing with. It feels like, but this person does have bad traits as well. This person may have a self-image problem, and this could be you. It could go vice versa. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that has image problems, okay? They may be, uh, they may have a big ego, okay? They may be boring. They may not be as fun, okay, that you, as you're used to, but it leads to something solid, okay? It may, it's different. Yeah, it's different. So, hmm. There's a delay, though. I think there's been a delay in you getting this opportunity as well. Because you had to manifest it. You had to ask for it. You had to be ready for it. You did. You had to learn some sort of lesson before they gave you this opportunity. This is, and you notice these, these are like dandelions, you know, after they have passed. When you blow on that, that's when you make a wish. I'm telling you what, a freaking wish is about to be granted for you. Oh, there's been some sort of injustice. There's been some bad luck. Okay, the justice reverse. That's bad luck. Or there's been an injustice. There's something going against you. Um, not happy with the outcome. Placing blame. Argumentative. Um, a lack of accountability. There's dishonesty. Uh, somebody is being dishonest. 
They're not telling the truth or they haven't been telling the truth. There could be some lies here. And you know, with this page, with this knight of coins reversed, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is obsessed or, or if you're obsessed. Now, this is unemployed as well. Hmm. There could be some unfair, there's some unfair treatment here. There is some unfair treatment. But you are being given a new opportunity. Somebody's been treated unfairly. And it could be, who is this person being untreated, treated unfairly by somebody that is lazy, somebody that is irresponsible and unfaithful. You may have been with somebody that was unfaithful in the past. Oh my God, but the worst is over. Okay, this Ten of Swords reverse, this is you have survived, the worst is over. It's already happened. It's already happened. Now, there could be something also coming back from the dead. Or there could be some chronic health problems with these two cards. And I don't know if you have some chronic health problems or if you're dealing with somebody that does. But, um, you know, the Ten of Swords reversed is... I don't know. Let me get one more card. The Three of Cups. Drinking. I don't know if there's some drinking problems here. Or alcohol issues. Mm. I wonder, somebody could be facing some legal problems because of drinking. Just saying. There could be some legal issues that come to the surface. Somebody could get stopped and pulled over. Somebody could get pulled over because of drinking and driving. I don't know if that's you, but I'm just saying. Um, there is some alcohol or drinking. It, alcohol plays a part here. Um, what is this Ten of Swords reversed? This is struggling, seriously, but you will survive. You will survive. But the Ten of Swords reversed is something, it's like feeling like beyond help. But there's a, this, a, uh, what's this? This is, this, this is victory and success. You win. You will win. You will progress. You will be successful. You're not, you will survive. This is, this is surviving. The worst has already happened. So the worst is over. You've already been through the worst of times, right? You have. There's been an injustice. Somebody has been treated unfairly, but now you have a new opportunity to go through a new doorway, to go down a new path. This is socializing as well. If it's, it's, you know, this is having fun. You could be meeting somebody on social media, maybe even a dating site because this is socializing. This is dating. This is getting out there. There's been a period of stagnation, but this is making progress. This is being recognized. So being recognized for uh, something. Ace of Cups, your big heart. This is Ace. This is love. So I'm wondering if you guys got a new love. It feels like some, if that's what you've been asking for. I mean, the Ace of Cups is love. It's emotional fulfillment. It's a new love. It's a new love. It's happiness. It's affection. It's a new start in love. Things are about to get better. So things are about to get better. But this Six of Wands, this is exciting. This is an exciting new beginning in love. And then you may meet this person out with your friends or through social media. It's out socializing. And social media is a way. Okay? So it's like you're socializing and this could turn into a love connection. That could really be successful with the Six of Wands. Now, Six of Wands is also somebody that that could be famous. This is public rec a public speaker or something like that. Public recognition. Hmm, what is this? Two of Wands. Now we have the moment of decision with the Two of Wands. You have two paths. You're going to have to make a decision. There's options. You're going to be you're going to be torn. You're going to be torn as to which way that you want to go. Now, this is about a partnership, and this is like a this could be a business partnership or a new partnership it doesn't have to be business and this is a new opportunity, so it looks as though you are going to be making a choice and there's going to be some level of indecision here, so I think that you're gonna be a little torn you're gonna be faced with a decision as to which way that you want to go. There's an opportunity for love 
something that you love, something that will make you very, very, very happy. There could be a reunion here though as well, because somebody may be, somebody from the past may be wanting a reunion with you, but you have this new opportunity. Something has already come to a halt and now you have to choose between two paths. You can have the new one or you can have, either, that's what this is. There's a choice between two here, Sagittarius. Somebody didn't treat you fairly. And now they may want to come back. They may want you to give them another chance, but you have this new opportunity here. There's definitely been some unfair treatment. Somebody didn't, somebody really hurt you. They really stabbed you. They didn't treat you very well. And it's like now they recognize you, right? Now they recognize you. <laughs> now this is unrealistic. There's no growth. It's dead. Uh, now, but get prepared for this person to arrive. I feel like there is somebody that uh, really, really hurt you really bad, betrayed you. Okay. They really betrayed you. Uh, they stepped on you. Okay. They really stepped on you. This person stepped on you. They, they, it stung, it stung, it hurt. Um, now they want some sort of reunion with you. They want some sort of reunion. They, they want you to choose them now that you have this new opportunity. Now they're, now it's like, now they're here and you're going to be thinking, you're going to be thinking, what do I do? And I think that deep down, you know, that this is unrealistic because this is unrealistic. You know, that there's no growth. You know, that it's time to go someplace else. Um, nine, nine of coin, no, six of coins reversed. Six of coins, six of pen. There's a rejection. We have a rejection here. You're dealing with somebody that is very mean. And there's all, there, again, we have unemployment. So I don't know if this is job related. This could be, have to do with a job. Don't go back to a job. Maybe there's somebody that wants you to go back to a job. This could, maybe you were treated unfairly by your job and they want you to come back. That could be the case. Now, there's there's definitely some sort of sort of unemployment here. This is unemployment, and this is unemployment. So I'm wondering if somebody gets let go, and it's not fair. I'm just I'm not trying to scare anybody, but this is unfair. But this gives you an opportunity to go down a new path. It's not going to be easy. This is learning new tricks, learning new skills. So some of you are going to be uh, getting a new job because you got fired. No offense or anything. Um, but it doesn't have to be job if this is relation. Whatever this is, is going to lead to happiness because the Ace of Cups is here. Now, if this isn't job related and, and it's relationship related, you know, you've been wasting your time hanging on to something anyway. So this could go multiple ways. It's like the, it, it, it's like now it's, now it's time to focus on the future. It's time to leave the past behind and relocate. So there's going to be some sort of relocation or thinking about relocation or thinking about going someplace else or letting whoever it is go or them letting you go. It just isn't a compatible situation. You are being called to have faith that this is all happening for a reason because there is a new doorway opening up for you. It's something that you asked for, something that is going to make you very, very happy. You're going to be getting a new offer that could lead you down the road to success, but it's scary. It is scary. And I feel like, um, it is going to make you very, very, very happy. Um, it is. It is. It's going to make you happy. It may cause a little bit of a loss for a minute. Okay, there could be a little bit of financial loss for a minute. But this opportunity that you get will grow as long as you put in effort. Or maybe you've already experienced some sort of financial loss. The six of coins reversed and the seven of coins reversed. Yeah, yeah, it's time to go someplace else. It is, it is. And I think that, you know... Um, somebody is going to see some sort of potential in you and and give you an opportunity that is going to make you happy. Eight of Wands reversed. Now, we, when I saw it, it was upright. Um, I think that there there's something is going to get stopped. Something is going to get stopped. It's, it's going to end. Okay. There's, it's going to get, there could be, you could be dealing with somebody that is jealous of you. You could be dealing with somebody that 
just doesn't like you, uh, that gossips about you, that is, well, jealousy is here. I think it's jealousy. I think that um, you're probably going to receive some bad news. But on the other hand, it's good news. And I know that, that you don't want to hear that, but it's good news, okay? It is good news. Because in the long run, it brings you the Ten of Coins. Okay, the Ten of Coins is extreme abundance. It's comfortable. It's 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 where you want to be. Okay, this is truly your happily ever after. This is this is having everything. That's this is this is uh, financially stable. This is financial success. This is a permanent situation that something permanent. This is flourishing. This is a long term. Okay, it's long term family situation, long-term job, long-term whatever it is, it's long-term success. Um, this is, uh, for some of you may start a business, okay, you may start your own business. Um, you may be starting a family, whatever this is with the Ten of Pentacles, this is um, money, stability, success, and permanence. That's the overall outcome, okay? This is exactly what you want. So, yeah, I think that you, you have, and maybe you've already been through this situation where you've been wasting your time and you've been sacrificing yourself and you've been staying in this place that is going nowhere. My thought is that's over. You may be moving into a new home, okay? Because this is moving, relocating, and this could be a new home, okay? Or starting your own business or something like that. I do see financial success is coming. Um, I think, you know, I know that you don't want to hear this. I think this is the very beginning. I think in 10 years from now, and I'm saying, and I know that you don't want to talk about 10 years from now, but I think in 10 years from now, you are going to be in a very comfortable place very comfortable but you are going to have to persevere the very first card or this one was but this one's right came right out with it basically is it's not going to be easy it is not going to be easy but if you work hard in 10 years from now you will be so comfortable that you will look back and you will be like oh my god wow i can't believe i was ever there look at me now so anyway, I do feel like you are going to get some bad news that it, it may seem like it's unfair, but it's not. It's actually a blessing in disguise because you're going to go into something that is very emotionally fulfilling. So this month, you are going to be given a new opportunity. My advice is to take it. It may not look like it's easy or it may not look like you want it to look or you may see it as a lot of work but in the end you will be so glad that you did good luck